How's it going guys? In this video, we're finally going to be relocating um, after I think seven years now in Florida. So I asked you guys in the last video which city we should relocate to and the winner of that with 155 votes was Quebec City. Uh, second place we have Halifax with 45 votes and third there we have Miami with 36 votes. So what I'm going to do is try and get to Quebec City as that's uh, obviously the popular vote. Almost half the people uh, voted for Quebec City. Now for whatever reason we can't go to Quebec. Uh, obviously the second city we'll try to go to is Halifax and then the third Miami. Hopefully we can get at least one of those three. So um, Quebec was actually a pretty good destination if I remember correctly. Um, the market size is medium, interesting your franchise high, fan engagement hardcore. So that should work out really well. Never done this before so let's see what we have to do here. Um, the city stadium funding portion. City wants 62%. Okay I see. So like how much money they're going to put towards the team. See, I don't know how much this actually matters to me. Um, I really don't think I care. Lease duration, uh, we want 24, so he wants 23. Like, I don't care about that. Concession revenue sharing, uh, we want to give them 6%. They want 7. Game day ticket revenue sharing, they want 6. We're offering 5. Same with merchandise. Um, park rev parking revenue sharing. Uh, city wants 9, we're giving them 11. So for whatever reason, we're giving them more than they want, so we can put that down to 9. Um, and then the city stadium funding portion, see if they give us like an extra percent or something. Um, honestly, I don't care like about this stuff, I just want to see if we can move. Um, they're good with everything but the city stadium funding portion. So let's try 64%, that's what they had it at. And there you go, deal is accepted. That was pretty easy. And as you guys can see here, I can either click on complete deal or I can back out of the deal or I can request time to think. But I mean, I feel like it's pretty good. Um, I don't really care, I don't think, especially with like three years left in the franchise mode. It looks like we got pretty much what we wanted. We had to like move on a couple percentages, but uh, that is it. So we'll complete this deal. Uh, we are now in Quebec City. So we get to choose a name. Obviously, I think we're going to go with the Quebec City Nordiques. Alright guys, so I just finished customizing everything for the new team, obviously team name Quebec City Nordiques, uh, team nickname Nordiques, play by play team name Quebec Teamwork, unfortunately Nordiques isn't available, abbreviation QC, arena name Centra Videotron I believe is the actual arena name in Quebec City, alright there's a look at the home jerseys, which I think are pretty sharp, obviously I went with a more kind of basic look, but um, I like them, blue with some white and a little bit of red. Uh, logos and branding here, obviously you already seen the Nordique logo. I think I got it pretty much exact in terms of like the right shade of blue and the right shade of red. Unfortunately though, you can't have like a white outline around the whole logo, which kind of sucked for the home jersey, but obviously it didn't affect the away jersey. Secondary marks, you have a blue Q and a white Q. Unfortunately, the uh, Fleur de Lis um, wasn't available for like a secondary mark. That would have been sick to have on the jersey as well as the shoulders, but just going to have to settle with the Qs there. So team uniform, you guys already got to look at it, but... Here's another look at the home uniform. Like I said, I actually like how it turned out. Really simple. Just a couple white stripes on the on the jersey as well as these socks. All blue there. You got the logo again on the shorts. Um, lots of blue, but honestly, I don't think it looks too bad. The way is probably the one I like better, though. Um, obviously, the logo doesn't clash as much. Uh, there's no outline on the home, like I was saying. So it's like blue on blue there, but the way looks really sharp. Um, not so much blue. Really like this one. I didn't bother making it in a way. Uh, sorry, not in a way. In alternate jerseys, I don't think I'll ever use it, but... Um, right there you can see the alternate. Like I said, never going to use that. Um, as well, here is a look at the goalies. I just basically just made it all white equipment with a bit of blue and put some uh, red on the stick. Uh, the away goalie there has the exact same equipment. So uh, hopefully you guys liked how those turned out and uh, hopefully we can finally win a Stanley Cup. Now in Quebec City, I don't believe Quebec City has ever won a Stanley Cup before, so that'd be awesome if we could win them one. Obviously, we have three years left to do it. Through here, guys, I just got a notification saying that relocation will take place next offseason before the entry draft, so I messed up. Uh, doing the entry draft first. I guess we're gonna be in Florida for one more year, but um, I guess the last two years will be in Quebec, and hopefully we can have two good years. So we get, I guess we get another chance to win Florida Cup, and then maybe we can get like back-to-back -back cups, one in Florida, one in Quebec. Also, guys, I just remembered I forgot to show you the new team arena, but I realized it's not too big of a deal as the only time we'll ever see it is if we win the Stanley Cup and it's a home game. Um, otherwise, like we're never gonna see it, and I just left it as default too. Uh, so the team colors were taken into effect in terms of like the seating and that stuff. Uh, the logo is at center ice, but other than that, pretty basic arena. Like I was saying, I don't play the game, so I didn't really want to spend too much time customizing something I'm pretty much never going to see. So now at the resign phase, back to business here. As you can see, we have 14.9 million in cap space, which isn't too much. Luckily, most of our team is locked up. Uh, Mastrian, really solid fourth line center. Uh, definitely going to give him a new contract. So he wants 2.75. I'm thinking we can probably get him for 2.5 for three years. Uh, lock up the fourth center there. Uh, Blunkfist is a decent um, AHL guy, so qualify him. 
That's actually it for the centers. Left wings, uh, Stan Haynes needs a new deal. This is going to be scary. I mean, he hasn't actually gotten any better since we drafted him, but still 23 years old, 90 overall. He's going to get a scary contract. $9 million. Um, He actually only wants 8.9. I don't know why we're giving him 9. Um, that's pretty pretty high. So if we can get him for like 8.5, that's actually a really good deal. Three years is all we have left, so might as well just do the three years there. Ovechkin's now in 83. Going to have to let Ovechkin go there. We still have Backstrom left from that deal, though, so I'm happy with it. Nolan Patrick's in 81. Um, this is, yeah, another one million, one year deal. Waiting for him to finally get good. He's only got two years left to grow, so I might just for sure trade him this summer, I think. Um, this guy here, Reeves, what's he want? 750k, we'll do that. Uh, Voros, hopefully this guy wants like 750k. Uh, that's way too much. We'll give him like 850. He must have been one of our rookies. Um, this guy's 20 years old. Oh, we gotta make sure we sign him. I uh, don't want to lose him to free agency. Uh, right wingers here, Janik needs a new deal. 22 years old, 85 overall. Pretty good player, 5.2 million. So we only have 14.9. We spent 2.5 on Masherin, 8.5 on Haynes. So that's 11. Uh -huh. So we have like 4 million here to spend on him. Uh, we might not have enough cap here, which is not good. Um, let's see if he'll take 4.5 and if we even have the cap for it. Uh, the way it works out, we just might have enough cap. We'll see. Um, McNeil here will just qualify just to help us out there with the cap situation. Uh, 75 overall, though, this guy we definitely want to sign. I'll wait, though, until uh, we deal with all the other guys that have, like, bigger contracts. So, Scandella here, 33 years old, 83 overall. I think I'm just going to let him go. We simply don't have the cap. Also, I just noticed Reinhardt's now a UFA, but he's 81 overall. Don't know how he dropped. Hopefully, this uh, Pete guy can uh, step up. We also have Audi Marchesu, Beagle, Beans there as well. What does Bean want here? One million, two years. Doesn't want a two-way, though, so just going to qualify him lots of like 80 overalls there carlos 26 80 overall just gonna let him go we picked him up off waivers gave us a good depth option but other than that uh didn't really do much else for us let's see here uh 70 overall okay we can't let him go to ufa looks like a solid player we'll give him like 800k i guess um the rest of the guys 71 i might sign uh we'll see how many contracts we have and stuff like that fukele is down to an 85 not from an 88 so that sucks uh, Sodstrom near here needs a new deal as a backup. Uh, one million for one year, I think, is pretty fair. HL goalie there, McCammond, 80 overall. He's looking really good. Goldobin backing him up, 78. is also looking pretty solid, so that's not too bad. Hopefully, Fukali can back, bounce back. Uh, so we'll see how this works out here with the money and everything once we sim a couple days. Hopefully, we have enough for everybody. If not, we're going to have to make some trades. So as you guys can see here, Reed's accepted our offer. Same with Janik, which is good to see. Haynes accepted. Sodstrom accepted. Butin. Uh, Lynn, Veros, Masherin. So actually, everybody accepted. Uh, must have had. I must have did my math wrong, or somehow the cap worked out better. So I think now we have everyone signed, um, except for like a few guys on qualifying offers. I'll double check here if that's the case. Um, looks like we actually have 2.4 million in cap space. Um, so this guy here, 75 overall. I want to give him a contract, uh, get him playing in the AHL. Uh, the rest of those guys don't look like they're quite worth giving a contract to yet. A um, couple, or actually a few guys there on qualifying offers. Just going to leave those guys on qualifying offers as I don't really think it's worth giving them any more than that. But 2.4 million cap space, maybe we can add a depth D. I think our forwards are honestly pretty good. And other than that, I uh, just have to hope some guys grow over the summer and try and make another Stanley Cup run. So we're now at free agent signing. As you can see there, Claude Giroux is available, 89 overall. Uh, we can't afford him at all. Our post is available, Little, Henry, Kaufman, Nieto, Spurgeon. It's actually the only good defense in there at 5.9. Uh, we're still way off. So don't really think I can afford any of these big name free agents, unfortunately, this year. I'm uh, going to try and find some more solid, you know, young guys on two-way deals. Um, this guy here, 22 years old, 81 overall already. Um, fourth line forward. High HL top six potential. That seems like it'd be worth it, though. Like 22 years old, 81 overall already. Um, the potential's not great, but... For that age, I mean, that's kind of like a really solid fourth-line guy, especially at uh, 750,000 for an 81 overall player. Like, I am fine with that. Um, we're going to actually go by potential now, though, as that was what I was looking for originally. 224-year-olds at 70 overall. That's not good. Sadikov here, 21-77. That's actually very good. Um, some other teams interested, so we'll give him 850k. I think I can only give out, like, five contracts or so uh, before we hit the max. 22-76 and 76, It's also really good. 2274 is not quite as good. Uh, let's see, 2279 here. That's awesome. Erickson, let's uh, 
give him a deal as well. Who else can we go after? Um, most of these guys aren't too high rated. Um, that's all low top nines. This guy though, 22 years old, 80 overall. I don't know how like some of these guys are available. Like they're just unreal. Obviously gonna give him an offer. Um, like when they're early 20s, already 80 overall. You gotta think they keep getting better. Um, medium top six Ds. Let's see if there's any really solid ones here. 21 years old, 76 overall. Um, like that's crazy good. Um, then just goes to low top six. Let's give this guy a deal as well. Uh, Giroux. No one else is interested at least right now. I think that's four there. Uh, there was one other guy I was looking at. Uh, where was he now? All right, this Ellington guy here, 22 years old, 76 overall. I think that's worth uh, giving an offer to. So we can get all those guys. Maybe a couple of them grow over the summer. That'd be huge. We still have two million in cap space. I'm also going to try and trade uh, Nolan Patrick as well as possibly Jake Bean right now, uh, just for probably like a pick or something. Unfortunately, they aren't really worth too much. Um, another thing too, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about it. Is Jonathan Huberdeau right now? Uh, morale is way down. Uh, he's very upset for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. So he's an 83 overall. Going to wait through the summer and hopefully he bounces back. But if not, probably going to trade him as I can't have an 83 overall player being paid 6.7 million. So I'll see what happens with that over the summer. So right here, guys, I'm trying to trade Nolan Patrick for St. Louis's second and third round pick. Uh, kind of reminds me of the Yakubov trade here, except we're getting both a second and a third. Uh, I put a first in there, but the first was just way too much value compared to Patrick. So I figured there was no way they would do it. I'll give you guys an idea here. So, as you can see, I feel like there's no way they'd say yes to this. Yeah, so if we try the second and the third, that looked a bit more fair. Um, I was even trying other teams' first round picks, but it didn't look like it was going to matter. So, trade him to the West as we don't have to play him as much. And he's already like 25 now, I think, Nolan Patrick. 24, 25. He's 24. But I mean, might as well just get some picks back here. Here we go. Uh, trade accepted. So, had to move on from him. It sucks, but uh, he was turned out into a bust. Also, they're going to trade uh, Jake Bean as well as his other guy. I um, forget his name, but they're both making like a million, and they're probably both going to be playing in the AHL this year. So just to get rid of some roster spots, let some younger kids play, uh, just try and clear out the guys that we really are not going to use. So right here, guys, I'm trying to trade Blunkfist along with Bean for Detroit's third-round pick. Uh, both of them, like I said, are making a million. Uh, Bean's got like one year left to grow Blunkfist too, but he's 77. Just want to move on from those uh, contracts. Like I said, give some other players some time in the AHL. And Detroit said yes, so cleared some cap space there. So maybe we can sign a depth guy, but honestly, I think I'd rather just kind of keep the guys we have, especially if we can sign some of those two-way guys we made offers on. Hope some people grow over the summer and go from there. Now, as you guys can see here, Erkson accepted our offer, 79 overall. I'm glad to see he did. Uh, Drew, unfortunately, rejected, went to Philly, so we should have gave him more. I think we offered him 750. Hines uh, appreciated the interest, but decided to go with another team. I think we also offered him 750. I should have been offering these guys uh, like 850+. plus. Uh, Bulma accepted though, 80 overall. Ellington rejected. Roster's full, so we have to go trade more guys. Uh, Sadikov accepted, so uh, let's try and trade like our worst player and then go sign uh, that Ellington guy again. So Reeves is probably one of my worst prospects. Uh, top 9 4 potential, but he's 24, only 77. Trying to get a fourth round pick back here from Anaheim. Uh, they say yes, so that worked out well. So, like I was saying, guys, after that trade, we're going to make Ellington another offer. Also, I noticed this other pretty good player available who's on a two way deal. Um, we'll see if he pops up here. So Jovanovski, 80 overall, only 22 years old. Potential's not as good, but I mean, if you can get an 80 overall player for 750k, uh, you might as well do it. So we'll see if we can trade another player that's not too great, and then try and sign Jovanovski here. So right here, guys, I'm trying to trade McNeil to the Coyotes. Same deal as like the last guy we traded, 24, he's like 76, not going to make the NHL. And they say yes. We get a free fourth round pick out of it, who hopefully we can turn into, you know, a better prospect. I'm uh, going to go sign that Jovanovski guy now. He looked really good, so... I'll make sure I give him like the, I don't know, 850k, a little bit more than he wants as in case, you know, some team tries to come in and steal him. He'll probably start off like first line AHL center. If we have any center injuries, he'll definitely get the call up though. And right here guys, we look at the owner goals for next year. Primary goal, 27 sellouts, which will be pretty top if everyone knows we're leaving. Secondary goals win the President's Trophy as well as sell 85% of the suites, which will also be pretty tough um, if people know we're leaving. Say the team is still a champion team. Owner still expects us to make a cup run, so we'll see if we can do that for him here in our last year in Florida. And right here, guys, we look at our lines going into next season. I'm actually very happy with them. First line, of course, is still Haynes, Barkov, Skinner. Second line, there we have Janik, Backstrom. Now an 86, which kind of sucks, but still only one year left. Um, very good player. And then Paris Hogan there, taking Huberdeau's spot, who's down to an 83, playing on the third line. If he can get that overall back up, obviously he'll go back to the second line. Bukestad there, an amazing third line center. He's back to an 87. He dropped to an 86 last year. 
Hinnestroza there, third line right wing. So our top nine is very solid. Actually, our whole forward group is very solid. We got Rutu there, 84, uh, fourth line right wing, Masher in center, and then Strom there on the fourth line left wing. So I'm really happy with the forward group, especially if Huberdeau can turn it around. Defense here, Yossi's dropped a bit. He's down to an 87, but still a uh, very solid defense. I mean, he's actually only got one year left, so works out well. Top pair there with Ekblad. Second pairing, we got Polka and Masonov. He's now an 85. And then Zadarov and Pete on the bottom pair. I almost picked up a defenseman. Glad I didn't. This Pete guy is an 83 now, 22 years old. Really happy with what he's doing uh, for us. Goalies here for Cali, like I said. Some reason, dropped to an 85. McAmmon, though, is an 82. So he's actually the backup now, as he's one overall higher than Sodstrom. Looking at the AHL team here, they're also going to do some damage, hopefully, this year. Uh, Stahl, Jovanovski, Hodges, first line. Demore, Yoshi, O'Brien on the second. Uh, Bulma, Poulin, and Erkson on the third, then Method, Holt, and Benson on the fourth. Uh, defense here, we actually have four 80 overalls in the AHL. We got Gervais, Beagle, Audi Marchesu, Champion, uh, Jeans, and Bl Black, I guess you would say his name, or Blake. Uh, goalie there, we have Sodstrom with Goldobin back him, backing him up. So, really happy with both teams. Um, I'm not sure if I'm as confident as I've been in the past in terms of winning the Stanley Cup, but I think we should for sure at least get into the playoffs. And then once you're there, we know anything can happen. Um, AHL team here, ratings, 86 offense, 83 defense, 82 goaltending. NHL team, 96 offense. That's actually the, the highest I think I've ever had it. Uh, 93 defense, 87 goaltending. So last year in Florida, I uh, would love to go out with a bang. And then we got two seasons in Quebec after that to round out the entire series. And that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.